Okay, is this thing recording? Okay, I think it is. Hopefully it is. Okay. Hi everyone. I hope all is well. My name is Ashanti and welcome to Uniquely Ashanti's Quarter. Sorry for that little awkwardness just now. I'm having some technical difficulties, so I'm just trying to make sure that this is recording because I just got through trying to record this the first time and I realized that it did not record so I just basically talk for nothing <laughs> oh, the strange things always happen to me but anyway as you see from the title I am bringing to you another dose of vitamin P to feed your mind and today's topic is everyone is not on your side again everyone is not on your side and I know that some of us feel the need to convince someone of our abilities, right? Our knowledge and many other things, especially if they believe in accurate details. This is especially true when it comes to family members. But what we need to remember is that others' opinions do not define us. If they choose to believe information that is simply not true, rather than reaching out to you, our energy should not be wasted on them. People will always have an opinion about us whether we are alive or have passed on and we cannot control what they think and we'll always encounter those who find fault with every single thing we do those who are envious and they'll do anything and everything to portray us in a negative light proverbs 29 25 and this is from the king james version it says the fear of man bringeth a snare but whoso putteth his trust in the Lord shall be safe. We should never, ever put man's opinion over God's opinion. His opinion is the only one that matters because we should be living our lives for him only. When we worry about others' opinions, we are not only putting them over God, we're also holding ourselves back. I think a great example of someone who does not care about others' opinions is Jesus Christ. When the Pharisees tried to find fault with everything he said and did, he was not moved. When Jesus was on the cross and surrounded by a crowd that yelled, prove you're the son of God by getting down from the cross, he was not moved. When that same crowd boldly mocked him and the heavenly father to his face, he was not moved to prove anything to them, anything. Jesus did not come to earth with the goal to gain everyone's approval. He already knew about those who were against him. And his only goal was and still is to save us, to save lost souls. We have to trust the capabilities that God has instilled in us. Remember our strength comes from Christ alone and allow him to help us to grow. God is the only one that should have control in our lives. Now, this is something that I've had to remind myself of recently. So let me just give a little bit of a backstory. If you watch my post-grad update video, you know that I was displeased with the job I had and was seeking employment elsewhere. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll post the video up somewhere so you can watch it later. So a few months ago, my relative comes to me one day and tells me about a conversation that she had with my estranged sister. She told my sister to keep me and mine for jobs since she has connections with certain people and my relative told me that uh she didn't tell my sister about my salary or anything and asked me if i wanted her to tell my sister to look up some jobs for me to which i said no because i feel that if my estranged sister really wanted to help me she shouldn't be told by my relative to do it anyway when I talked about this with my father, he gave me a completely different story. He told me that my relative informed him that she did bring up the subject of my salary with my uh, estranged sister. I learned that she gave my sister an inaccurate number, which most likely gave my sister the impression that I was just letting people take advantage of me and I didn't know what I was doing. And the reason why my relative gave an inaccurate number is because she doesn't know the actual amount since I limit how much information I share with her. And 
when I found out these details from my father, I was so angry for two reasons. The first reason is because my relative lied about what she told my sister, especially when it's not even any of her business. And secondly, because my relative gave false information based off of her own assumptions. I was concerned that my sister would get the wrong impression about me and share this false information with extended family members, especially since she's known to do something like that. I held on to that anger for a few days and kept conversations with my relative very, very brief. I didn't even want to talk to her. I wasn't in the mood to talk to her. And I was just thinking to myself, I am already stressed and tired from job search and now here comes this nonsense are you serious when i realized that this anger was starting to linger i asked god to help me to release it because it was really starting to consume me and he helped me he helped me to realize that i shouldn't worry about those who are quick to listen to one-sided stories if someone is not interested in hearing what i have to say then they are not meant to follow me on my journey i don't even have a relationship with many of my extended family members so why should i be concerned and even if i did why should i worry when they're choosing to believe one-sided stories what they choose to believe as truth is their problem not mine okay when people are quick to hear one-sided stories, it helps us to weed out the supporters from the naysayers, okay? And I know that this is easier said than done. I know what it feels like to deal with someone who believes that you don't know what you're doing and talks down about you. It hurts. Let's be honest, it hurts. But this is something that has to become a regular habit. We have to continue to ask God to renew our, our, our sight, renew our heart, and renew our minds. Jesus said in Matthew 19, 26, that with God, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. When I share these videos, this is not meant to just be watched. This isn't meant to be a sometimes thing. When you don't implement changes in your life, your situation will always remain the same. It takes work on a daily basis with God's help, and some days will definitely be harder than others, but we cannot give up. Yes, we should always acknowledge our emotions and share that with God. Holding that in, I can tell you that does not do any good at all. It is going to destroy you. We cannot allow ourselves to stay stuck or believe that we can handle this without God's help. And as I'm talking to y'all right now, I am talking to myself. And with that being said, I am bringing this dose of vitamin P to a close. Thank you so much for tuning in. Feel free to share your thoughts down below. If you do, please refrain from profane language, even if it's an abbreviation. Please be respectful. God bless each and every single one of you. Be safe and take care.